Welcome to the world of a talking horse and the man who understands him in the classic 1961 TV series, Mr. Ed. Ever wondered which character resonated with you the most in this sitcom? Or perhaps, can you recall the first time this show graced your screen? Before we dive into the cherished memories and personal experiences tied to Mr. Ed, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Did you know that the titular character, a Palomino horse, was portrayed by Bamboo Harvester and voiced by Alan Lane? It's these curious tidbits that add a layer of fascination to the sitcom. Now, back to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless show? We're eager to hear your stories and recollections in the comments below. Your connection to Mr. Ed is part of the rich tapestry that makes this show a lasting favorite. Crafting a bridge between nostalgia and entertainment, Mr. Ed has managed to trot through time, leaving an indelible mark on viewers. Share your thoughts and memories. The comments section awaits. Mr. Ed, a classic American television series that first aired in the early 1960s, emerged from the creative minds of writer Walter R. Brooks and producer Al Simon. The show revolved around the comical misadventures of Wilbur Post, an amiable architect, and his extraordinary equine companion, a talking horse. The titular character, whose ability to communicate with Wilbur remains a charming mystery, added a unique twist to the sitcom genre. Mr. Ed's deadpan wit and sagacious advice added a layer of hilarity to the show, creating a timeless blend of humor and heartwarming moments. The series not only showcased the endearing friendship between man and horse, but also provided a satirical take on suburban life. Mr. Ed's distinct style, clever dialogue, and the chemistry between the characters contributed to its enduring popularity, leaving an indelible mark on American television. The show's legacy lives on as it continues to be celebrated for its wholesome humor and unconventional premise, making it a cultural touchstone for generations. Produced by George Burns McCadden Productions, the 1961 TV series featuring Mr. Ed, a golden palomino, took a unique approach to casting. George Burns himself revealed that Alan Young, who played Wilbur Post, was chosen because he just seemed like the sort of guy a horse would talk to. This intriguing behind-the-scenes decision added a layer of authenticity to the show. Interestingly, the horse Mr. Ed had a distinctive communication style. He only responded to his trainer, Lester Hilton, not interacting with any of the co-stars. This meant Hilton had to be on set at all times, providing commands or cues through hand signals to ensure the horse's responses were seamless. This fascinating dynamic between the human cast and the equine star brought an unconventional challenge to the production. However, it also contributed to the show's success, creating a memorable on-screen partnership. The choice of a golden palomino and the careful selection of the lead actor based on his perceived talk to a horse demeanor added a unique touch to the classic sitcom. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the meticulous choices made to bring Mr. Ed to life, showcasing the effort invested in creating the humorous and heartwarming moments that have left a lasting impact on television. The show's legacy endures not just for its entertaining narrative, but also for the unconventional methods employed in its production, making it a standout in the realm of classic TV. Alan Young, the actor portraying Wilbur Post in the iconic TV series Mr. Ed, made a strategic decision that shaped the show's identity. Despite his central role, Young insisted on naming the series Mr. Ed instead of using his own name. His rationale was clear if the show failed, he didn't want the blame to fall solely on him. This decision gave the show a distinct title and set the stage for its unique blend of humor and heartwarming moments. Interestingly, the character of Mr. Ed, the talking horse, had a rather unconventional origin. The equine's antics weren't confined to the TV screen, they first appeared in a series of magazine stories. In these stories, Mr. Ed not only talked, but also engaged in humorous situations, including getting drunk. This quirky beginning laid the foundation for the character's distinctive communication style and added an extra layer of charm to the TV adaptation. One of the defining aspects of the show was the exclusive communication between Mr. Ed and Wilbur. The horse, according to the narrative, only spoke to Wilbur because he considered him the only person worth talking to. This unique dynamic between man and horse became a central theme contributing to the show's enduring popularity. 
In conclusion, the 1961 TV series Mr. Ed, with its origin in magazine stories and Alan Young's strategic naming decision, brought a refreshing and unconventional approach to the classic sitcom. The distinct character dynamics and humorous origins set the show apart, leaving a lasting impact on television. Alan Young and Mr. Ed's on-screen chemistry wasn't confined to the set. Even after the show wrapped, Young maintained a unique friendship with the equine star. Regularly visiting Lester Hilton's ranch, Young enjoyed riding Mr. Ed, showcasing a bond that transcended the confines of the television screen. This enduring off-screen connection added another layer to the legacy of the iconic duo. In a revealing interview, Alan Young shared an intriguing behind-the-scenes detail about his appearance in the show. Originally having dark blonde hair, Young's hair color blended too much with Mr. Ed's on black and white film. To address this, the makeup artist with Connie Hines' hairdresser dyed Young's hair dark, ensuring he stood out on screen. After the show concluded, Young reverted to his natural hair color, marking a subtle yet impactful aspect of the production's attention to detail. The famous theme song of the show played over the opening and closing credits became a defining element. Surprisingly, the lyrics to the iconic tune were introduced in Season 1, Episode 8, titled Pageant Show. The initial seven episodes featured only an instrumental version of the song, emphasizing the evolving nature of the show's signature soundtrack. These lesser-known facets of the 1961 TV series Mr. Ed from the enduring friendship between Alan Young and Mr. Ed off-screen to the strategic decisions made for on-screen appearances add depth to the understanding of this classic sitcom's production. Each detail, whether in relationships or creative choices, contributes to the enduring charm of a show that continues to resonate with audiences. Mr. Ed, a unique TV series that stood out for various reasons. One distinctive aspect was its uncommon start beginning in syndication and later picked up by a major network, a rarity in television. This unconventional path hinted at the show's initial journey and the eventual recognition it gained. Beyond the screen, Mr. Ed had an interesting behind-the-scenes figure pumpkin, Ed's stunt double. A quarter horse resembling Ed, Pumpkin sported a gold spot on his white blaze, cleverly concealed during Ed's stand-ins with white makeup. This nugget of information unveils the meticulous efforts invested in maintaining the show's visual consistency. While Ed displayed verbal prowess, his daily diet was more down-to-earth, 20 pounds of hay washed down with a gallon of sweet tea. This mundane detail adds a touch of reality to the extraordinary world of Mr. Ed, showcasing the practicalities behind the scenes. In a show known for its on-screen chemistry, it's intriguing to discover the off-screen bond between Alan Young and Ed. The enduring friendship extended to post-show days, with Young regularly visiting Lester Hilton's ranch, riding Ed, and cementing a connection that transcended the scripted narratives. These lesser-known facets provide a nuanced view of Mr. Ed, touching on its unorthodox beginning, meticulous attention to visual details, and the down-to-earth aspects of its equine star's daily life. Each piece contributes to the show's enduring charm, revealing the layers beneath its light-hearted surface. As we wrap up this nostalgic journey through the charming world of a certain equine conversationalist, take a moment to ponder the hoofprints Mr. Ed left on your own personal memory lane. Whether it's the clever quips, the witty banter, or the downright absurd situations, this timeless series has etched itself into the annals of television history. Perhaps you found solace in the whimsical conversations between Wilbur and his four-legged confidant, or maybe you couldn't help but chuckle at the equine antics that unfolded. Whatever the case, your connection to this iconic show is unique and resonant. Now it's your turn to share. Drop a comment below and let us know your fondest memories, the scenes that made you laugh out loud, or the moments that touched your heart. In this digital space, let's weave a tapestry of shared experiences and nostalgia celebrating the magic that is Mr. Ed. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane with us. Your stories add depth to the narrative, creating a shared appreciation for the timeless charm of this classic series. Until next time, keep those memories alive and the laughter echoing.